dear learners welcome to nios studio today in stuffing topic our next session is for selection so today we will learn process of selection meaning of training importance of training and the methods of training once we completed the recruitment in the last session today we will begin from meaning of selection selection refers to the process of choosing the most suitable person from among the list of interested candidates once we collect the number of candidates for the vacant position then we select the most suitable candidates among the list of interested candidates so selection is that process where we select the best candidates among the number of candidates and it basically choose by involving different different steps and all the interested people needs to go by different different steps due to which an organization can decide that which one is best suitable for the organization or for the vacant position selection involves certain steps that certain steps are the number of rounds which a person has to face to select for the vacant position the entire process goes through a number of steps which may be called as selection procedure so selection procedure means the process or the steps involved in selection process and those number of steps are required to select the best candidate for the vacant position process of selection if we talk about process so there are certain steps like selection i told you that selection is a negative process because by selection only we eliminate the unsuitable candidate to select the best suitable candidate for the vacant position so it involves certain steps the steps are screening the application holding the test selection interview checking reference medical examination and issue of appointment letter let's start with the first step if we talk about screening the application screening the application is the initial or preliminary step of the selection in which organization checks the minimum eligibility which is required for the vacant position so screening the minimum eligibility an organization select the eligible person the eligible person which is required for the vacant position so first by screening the application organization eliminate the uneligible person and choose the eligible person for the next step so once we screen the eligible person or eligible candidates for the vacant position so we move on so the person has to move on to the another step that's a holding the test so once he fulfill the minimum eligibility he has to give the written test for the vacant position an organization basically checks the mental abilities or the iq level of the person and by which they can decide whether the person is suitable for the next step or not so by organizing holding the test organization select the suitable candidate which is required by the organization so if the person has a good iq level or if he pass on pass the written test then only he can select for the further steps otherwise it gets eliminated next step is selection interview selection interview we can say it is a pi round pi means personal interview round selection interview is that process 
where an interviewer and the interviewee interact with each other face to face, where interviewer ask to interviewee certain question, basically technical round, where the interviewer ask technical questions which is related to their field. So it basically checks the confidence level, at the same time the technical ability of the person. So selection interview is the oral interview, is the interview where the interviewer or we can say the organization and the candidate sits together face to face and interact face to face and make a conversation. So even by that conversation, organization can analyze that a person is suitable for the next step or not. So by third step, if the organization feels that yes, they are fit for the vacant position, then only they pass for the next step. Otherwise, they eliminate the person from that selection procedure. After completing the personal interview, then he, the candidate needs to proceed to the next step, that's a checking reference. Checking reference is that process where the organization contact with the last organization of that person where he used to work and try to check how he worked in his last organization or by checking, by knowing some more about that candidate. If by checking reference, if a person is fine and if it is suitable for the next step, then only he got select, otherwise he get rejected. Then the next step is medical examination. Medical examination is the physical examination where an organization identify or determine that a person is physically fit or not for the vacant position. So medical examination involves some tests like blood test or x-ray or many other medical tests. So by medical test, they examine that is the person is suitable for the vacant position or not. If the issues arise in the medical examination, then the person get eliminated. Otherwise, it, it proceed to the next step. And the next step is the last step of the selection procedure. That's the issue of appointment letter. Once he gone through and gets selected in all these steps, then only the organization issue the appointment letter to, the, to that person, which basically confirms that yes, he is finally appointed for the vacant position. So these are the procedure of selection. These are the steps involved in selection of process. Now we will learn or we will read one by one accordingly. Okay, so let's start with the screening the application. This is the number one step of selection. Application screened on the basis of minimum eligibility condition. Eligibility condition is in respect of age, experience, qualification and skills are fulfilled by the candidates who have applied for the job. Candidates not eligible are thereby excluded from further consideration. This is the initial step of the process of selection. So process of selection First step is the screening of application where the organization screen the candidate application on the basis of the minimum eligibility. Minimum eligibility like in respect of age or experience or qualification or the skills. So by screening the minimum eligibility, the organization screen the candidate for the further steps. Then, if we talk about the screening of minimum eligibility, there are four kind of eligibility like we can say age, experience, qualification and skills. So, these all are checked in first step. 
Now move on to the second step. Once the candidate fulfilled the minimum eligibility, then only he has to go to the written test. That means he has to go on through with the written test. After screening the application, eligible candidates are asked to appear for selection test. These tests are made to discover the intelligence quotient level and for measuring the skills and abilities of the candidates in terms of the requirement of the job. Organization basically checks the intelligence quotient level of the person or checks the mental ability of the person by this test. So, if a person passed in this test, then only he has to go for the next step. Otherwise, he gets eliminated from this step only. This test basically measures the skills and abilities of the candidate in terms of requirement of the job. So, holding the test is the second step of selection procedure which, which basically test the skills and abilities of the candidates in terms of requirement of the job. The next step is selection interview. Selection interview is the personal interview where the candidate has to face to face interaction with the employer or the representatives of the employer where they try to judge the ability of the candidates. So, selection interview is the face-to-face -face interaction between the employer and the candidate where the employer judge that is a person is able to perform the vacant position or not. So, it basically determines the abilities, the confidence level, the technical field of that person. That means, is he technically sound or not? So, this kind of checking or this kind of interview tells about the ability of that person. Is he suitable for the next step or not? Then, move on to the next step that is checking reference. References are required to be contacted to ensure that persons can be relied upon. In case of experienced employees, their previous employer can also be contacted for this purpose. So, checking reference basically tell the person's character. Through his reference, organization basically checks that he is, I mean, by nature or we can say by, by their personal behavior, we can analyze that is he suitable for our organization environment or not. So, by checking reference, basically organization confirms that a person may get adjust in the organization or with the environment or not. So, by checking the reference, once the organization become confident that yes, he is fine for our system also, then only he make them proceed to the next step that is medical examination. Medical examination is the examination of his physical abilities. Medical examination where the candidates finally selected for the job are asked to undergo medical examination to see whether the selected candidates are physically fit for the job or not. So, medical examination involves various tests like blood tests, like x-ray or many other medical tests. So, a person has to go with all the tests to prove that yes, he is physically fit for the job. Then, after selected from the medical examination, then a person will get the appointment letter. So, the next step is issue of appointment letter. Candidates finally selected are offered to join the organization for which a formal appointment letter is issued containing the nature of job, 
the remuneration, the pay scale and other terms and condition relating to the employment. So, issue of appointment letter basically tells the candidate that he is finally selected for the vacant position and that formal appointment letter contains various information like the nature of job, that what kind of job he has to do in his job. Second, the remuneration that actually how, how much he'll get in exchange of his job and the pay scale that in what in which scale he in which grade he is in and the other terms and condition relating to that employment. So all kind of various informations are involved in that appointment letter. So this is the final step of selection procedure and the final step is issue of appointment letter which basically confirms that yes person is finally selected for the vacant position. Now our next topic is training. Once a person is selected for the vacant position then the organization responsibility is to train that person according to the requirement of the job. So training is an act of increasing the knowledge and technical skills of an employee for doing a particular job efficiently. So training is that process where the organization gives or provide knowledge and technical skills to the person so that he can know his work that what kind of work he has to do while he's doing his job so that he can do his particular job efficiently and effectively. So training is very important for the person to make them learn or to make them aware that what he actually has to do while during his job. So training is that act of increasing the knowledge and technical skills of an employee for doing a particular job efficiently. See, training is not just for the new employees, it's for the old employees also. If we talk about new employees, so yes, training is necessary to help them get acquainted with the method of operation and skill requirement of the job. So for the new employees, training is important because it makes that them aware, it makes them aware that what they supposed to do during his job, during their job. But when we talk about existing employees, so yes, for even existing employees, training is important because it basically recalls them that what they have to do. So it is for the existing employee also. So it basically helps the people to learn in a better way of doing the work and also as and when they have to undertake new jobs. So it's not like that training is just for the new employees, it's also for the existing employees because it makes them more sharpened in their job and make them prepare for the higher level jobs also. So training is important for the new employees as well as for the existing employees. If we talk about the importance of training, so next topic is importance of training. That why training is important in the organization. What is the use of training in the organization? So let's begin with the first point. It less, lesser the wastage as a trained worker takes less time in learning and doing a job. Training is important because it decreases the wastage, it decreases, reduces the time which a person needs to take to do his job. If a person is well trained, if he gets all the training sessions which is required to perform his job, then he will reduce the wastage, he will do less mistakes, he will do his job more efficiently and effectively. So training is important to reduce the wastage and to reduce the time of learning. Second point is better employees performance leading to the higher profits. Yes, 
Training is also important because it makes a person more efficient and if a person works efficiently then yes organization will get fruit of it that means organization will get benefit of it if the organization has a skillful employees if they have if they have skillful employees then yes automatically the organization will get the benefit of it so organization always focuses that their employees should be skillful they should have they should well trained they should know their actual job so training is also important because it makes uh, employees performance to the higher level and if the performance are are at the higher level then profits of the organization is also touches to the extreme level or to the next level next importance is better utilization of men machine and material this is the third importance of training better utilization of men machine and material so training also tells them that how to use their aims aims like men machine material and the next step next importance is develop positive attitude in the mind of workers and motivate workforce to take new ventures it also improves the positive attitude of the workers and it motivates the workforce also because if the person knows their job very know i mean if they know their job very much then obviously they will they will like to do their job and it basically motivate them next is reduce labor turnover and absentees if the person if the employees are well trained if they know their job then obviously they will have a good interest in their job and then labor turnover would be less and the absentees will also be less next importance is trained workers will adopt fast to the environmental changes compared to the untrained workers let's move on to the next topic that's a training methods there are two methods of training number one is on the job training number second is off the job training on the job training in this method the employees learn about their jobs while doing the work duly assisted by their supervisors or seniors encourage self learning through practice so on the job basically it is a training which is give them at their actual workplace on the job training involves training like job rotation like coaching like job instruction of the job training the next method of training is of the job training of the job training is that method which involve training employees away from the workplace so that experts may conduct the training and employees are free from immediate pressure of completing the jobs at hand of the job training basically give training to the people which not at their actual workplace here basically employees take away from the actual workplace so that experts can conduct some training se sessions for to the people of the job training methods involves certain methods like demonstration conferences vestibule training video films and case discussion demonstration means where the trainer teach employees by doing some demonstration by giving them some demo sessions conferences even by organizing some conferences also organization give training to their new employees or to their existing employees third is video films even by showing them some video films by some video also they make them learn regarding their job by discussing on some cases also organization provide training to their employees and the last one is vestibule training vestibule training is that training where the organization makes an artificial environment for the trainees and where they feel the actual environment and in that environment they basically give training to the employees so here we are going to wind up our this session so let's recall that what we have learned we have learned process of selection meaning of training importance of training and the methods of training 
Thank you.